Hello ladies and gents, in this video we will set up our development environment for UI5. The first step we have to do is to install Node.js. So simply google Node.js and go to the official website and just follow the instructions according to your operating system. And just install Node.js and I recommend the latest version recommended for most users but if you know what you're doing with Node.js you can also install the latest one. And the next thing we need to install is UI5 CLI. We will use the UI5 tooling development tool chain later on. We will have a dedicated section just for it in the later videos. So just install it for now with this um, command here npm install and make sure to ins include the dash dash global tag. And next we will also use slint for our code checks so also install it with this command here but um, also add the dash dash global or dash g for short so it's installed globally and next as for our browser i will be using google chrome and chrome has a nice uh, extension called ui5 inspector this will also be very useful in the future so add this to your Chrome if you are going to use Chrome as well. And then we go to our IDE and I will be using VS Code and I highly recommend you also use it. And for VS Code we have several extensions that we can use so let's check those by clicking this button here we go to extensions and the first one will be SAP Fury Tools extension pack. So if you do a search for SAP Fury Tools and you find the one which says Fury Tools dash extension pack and make sure to install this. This includes several tools such as application wizard, syntax validation, etc. So we will explore all these features as we go. And the next one is called UI5 Language Assistant. So if you also search for it, this is the one. You should also install this and we will use this for code completion for our XML coding. And another one is called Live Server. And this one we will use for launching a local development server until we start using SAP's own solution, UI5 tooling. And lastly, for linting, we will use slint. So please also install the slint extension for your VS Code. And then we will be good to go. So I will see you in the first video.